didn't see you there. Don't mind me. I'm just preparing for my morning meetings. Overlord is easily the best plugin that you can own right now if you're a serious motion designer. But if you click this video, you probably already know that and you enjoy using it. But your enjoyment is about to increase because there is a massive Photoshop update. So let's jump in and check it out. But before we do, I'm gonna spend a minute explaining Overlord for those who are uninitiated. Let's go. So basically how After Effects works with external files is when you go and you import a file, it creates a link on your computer. It's not embedded, it links out to that destination and then looks for that file to make any changes to the file inside of After Effects. And so where this becomes difficult is if, if you make major changes to the file, let's say I go in here and I delete this entire folder and then I add a new you know, scribble layer and then I save this, After Effects is gonna get confused because these things weren't happening when it looks for it the first time. So if I go back into After Effects, you'll notice that uh, all these files are now unlinked linked they're missing my new scribble has not appeared so this whole thing has become uh, a complete mess and if you've ever worked on a project with another designer who is delivering you flat files you know how much of a headache this is because those designers hate you and they want to make your life more difficult by making changes to the files that they've already delivered you but when you use overlord you don't have these problems so it's already working for Illustrator and Figma to the point where you don't even have to download files anymore. You can just push over everything straight from Figma web or Illustrator as vectors. And now it's come for the final boss, Photoshop. So let's take a look at the plugin and see how it works. Okay, so I'm in Photoshop and as you can see, the designer that I'm working with hates me because I have all of these things that are not going to import into After Effects well, like these layer masks and these you know, shape layers and, and text that I'm gonna have to turn live. All of this stuff, super frustrating to import normally, but here's where the magic of Overlord happens. So let's run through all of these different buttons. First, Obviously, we can just click the push button and we will push our selection over. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my text and boom, here it is in After Effects. It's already being converted to live text, so I can edit this text. Great. It can handle pushing some of the weirder edge case things, like I have a group that has a mask on it and inside of the group we have both layers and more groups and more things with masks and whatever. Let's see what Overlord does when I just simply click push and it will take a little bit of time. Um, it's gonna kind of keep us updated on its progress as it's getting the layers and getting a whole lot of pixels and pushing things over. It's a good coffee break. Take your time, little guy, you can do it. Okay, boom, and we have some action. So by default, it will push the groups over as a pre-comp, which is very convenient. And when I go into here, uh, any of my folders that are in Photoshop, the groups are going to be uh, pre-comps and layer masks come over um, working as intended as layer masks that are already matted with that pre-comp. I can keep going deeper if you don't believe me that this is working. And as you can see, everything is being pushed over as I would want it to be. Single layers are coming over as single layers. Uh, groups are coming over as multiple layers parented to a guide layer for easy control without kind of uh, rasterizing and condensing these layers. And any folders that have things like, like masks to them are getting pushed over as pre comps with the relevant mask information inside of it. So back into Photoshop, really anything you wanna push over is going to come over as you would expect it to. So in this case, I have a shape layer, and when I go to push this, it will come over as a shape layer. Pretty nice stuff. I'm gonna delete this though. So let's take a look at some of the other options here. Rasterize selection, this is a super, super useful thing. And what this means is that it will essentially uh, if you're familiar in Photoshop, like merging a group, so I take a group and I'm gonna do Command E that merges it all into one um, layer. That's essentially what rasterizing the selection will do. It's gonna 
you know, you're a designer, you know what rasterizing means. And it's gonna push it all over into a one single layer. What's really nice about this though, is that it, it won't destroy your file. Once it's done pushing it over, it's actually going to undo the rasterization. And we'll check this out. We're gonna do this with group one here. You see, this is a folder with a ton of contents inside of it. And when I rasterize and push it, it will get condensed into a single layer and shot over. Great, this is one layer, beautiful, just how I wanted it to import. And if I go back to Photoshop, it has not kept the rasterization, so I'm still flexible here to go back and edit. This is super, super clutch. Have a couple more buttons here that we can go through together. So we can create a new AE comp from the frame. What this will do is it will create a brand new composition uh, using the same settings as your Photoshop comp. So the same height and width. I don't use this, maybe it'll be useful for you. And then inversely, we have the new artboard from AE comp where you can kind of go the other way and create a new artboard in your file based on the current settings that you have open in After Effects. I mean, you have to be really, really lazy if you're gonna use this, like you can just, it's pretty easy to make a new comp, but, but whatever, it's here if you wanna use it. We also have this import Photoshop file button. It's nice to have, but the whole reason I'm using Overlord is to not do this, but I'll show you what it does. When you click it, it will actually go ahead and take the time to import the entire file over and link it and kind of the normal import process that you're used to in After Effects. It's gonna go ahead and do that for you just from the Photoshop side. Okay, and here it is. Here is my uh, Overlord assets that you can see brought in, all the different layers. Here is the Photoshop file. And then finally, we have push guides, which is useful if you work with a lot of guides. You can just click this button and these ruler guides that I have in my file are gonna just get pushed over. You can see them here and you can move these around, do whatever you want with them. So then in the After Effects version of the app, we can basically do everything in reverse. This will just do the same actions that I just showed you, but you do them from After Effects and pull into Photoshop. Functionally, it's the same thing. I think this part is built for Australians who you know, do everything upside down. They can just go ahead and pull things from After Effects. And then we have a couple more options here, pre-comp, decomp, toggle, and delete. So let's go ahead and take a look at what a couple of these things do. I have this image layer. So I'm predicting if I click pre-comp, yep, it's gonna turn this into a pre-comp, pretty handy. And then inversely, we can just go ahead and decomp that. And now it's no longer a comp and it gave me a little guide layer to control things. This is just in case you had a bunch of layers in here it's gonna let you be able to control them easily. And then this toggle button just toggles the visibility of this guide layer on and off. You know, if you're too lazy to just go down here and do it, that's fine. And then delete will delete all of these group layers. So if I go to an area where there's a bunch of them like this pre-comp in here and I click delete, you'll see it's gonna go ahead and clean that up for me and delete all of them. If you launch the Overlord app, you'll notice mine is blue and it's different than yours because I'm special and I get beta access, sorry. You can go over to hosts and we can edit the plugin visibility and I can go ahead and just uncheck all of these features that I'm not gonna use and save it and boom, they're all uh, gone now and I can just of course bring them back but this is a nice way to free up some precious screen space from these windows. So that's really it, I've been using this plugin heavily the past couple of weeks and has saved me so much time. If you wanna get it as well, you can go ahead and use my code to get some money off, get this plugin for a little bit cheaper.